going on? The battery, I think, gave out. This is the next day. I have the battery disconnected and I ran into some issue yesterday when I tried to start it. Yeah, it's charging. On my second uh, attempt to start, I heard the uh, breaker pop. I said, man, what's going on? So I just uh, I went ahead and gave it a jump. And I thought maybe the battery was uh, dying or something, but it turned out to be not. So I thought about it overnight. Why all of a sudden the starter would not, or having a hard time cranking it when the engine is on normal temperature. So something's going on. And uh, I thought about it uh, this morning. I thought maybe my grounding cables, maybe this is too, uh, too thin or something. But it looks like it's the same gauge as this one. But I'm going to add this up, maybe tuck it in there somewhere, just to eliminate the grounding cable. Second issue I had to work on is the clutch. I have to bleed that clutch. Yeah, I felt it yesterday when I uh, put the car inside the garage. And... Uh, I felt like I'm stepping on nothing but it has the allowance though you know like that when you uh, start releasing it so that's good it's good height it's just that it's so soft maybe it's the uh, action clutch because uh, maybe I'm just used to uh, using a stage uh, 3 uh, clutch today's episode it'll work on those items and warm the motor up and maybe uh, take it out for a run i'm gonna join these two together right here and i think that should do it and if it does it again then i'll work on the starter Next is the uh, clutch. When I say hold, hold it. Hold it. Okay, you stepping on it? Okay, it's gonna go soft. Okay, up again. Let me know. Are you pumping it? I know, use your feet up. Use your foot there, yeah. Right, pump it again. Let me know if there's any changes. Don't kick on it. Step on it. Step on it. Hold it. Again. Pump it like three or four times. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, bring it out again and then pump it again. Yeah, I don't see any air. All right, step on it. Again. Hold it. Yeah, I don't see any more. Okay. That's good. All right, let's that's good. Hope that makes a difference. Yeah, it's somewhat Yeah, I think maybe it's just that uh, I got used to uh stepping on a stage 3, I think. Let's start it up and uh, we'll check the starter.
I just remembered I have to step on the uh, accelerator for a few seconds then let it go it has a IACB but my tuner somehow disconnected it or something but once I let go and it should stabilize yeah that's on a cold start I just remember that man that oil pressure is way up man all right uh, I'm gonna let the engine uh, warmed up I need to go back and check my suspension make sure the collar is all tight then uh, I'll take it out for uh, a spin we'll find out if this will make a difference or not man I hope it's just the starter there's another thing I can uh, I can check if it's if the starter would not crank I'm going to rotate the crankshaft manually I want to eliminate if there's any binding in the uh, <laughs> in the rotating parts I just want to get that out of the way out of my system oh I gotta secure this let me find some bolts on this one and the air intake I'm going to use a wrap on this one if some of you have uh, watched my uh, previous vlog yeah it helps those wrap because this is aluminum it's like a heat sink this engine compartment will go hot and this will absorb it fan just kicked in i'm gonna turn it off and we can restart again Okay, here we go. One more time. okay so uh, I do have an issue once the motor warms up and all the engine parts expanded yeah something is binding I'm going to uh, manually crank it and eliminate man the transmission okay let me get some uh, let me jack it up and uh, crank it up I've removed the tire because I need to check all the suspension before I go out on the road okay if I'm able to uh, rotate this by hand I can eliminate my suspicion of the uh, binding within the transmission yeah it's fine yeah <laughs> oh man you know I just remembered <sighs> maybe it is the starter being a high compression motor I don't know maybe all right so my suspicion of uh, the binding within the transmission is good I'm not totally eliminating that because I still have to take it out on the streets and we'll see it from there if there's any abnormal like vibration or anything like that okay let me check the uh, the color on my suspension
Okay, enough. Hey, Dad. Do you think a uh, high compression motor has something to do with it? But that should even help the starter, isn't it? I could be wrong, but that's the only thing I can think of now. At least now I know that the, uh, the transmission is eliminated. No binding as of now. At this condition, I'm afraid to take it out on the road, on the streets. But I will, not unless I bring the, uh, <laughs> the battery with me, just in case it dies out on me. Hmm. On a build like this, it's only normal. <laughs> that you run into some issue like this I'd rather have all the bugs come out right now rather than wait till it goes to a dyno session yeah they might have a few bolts that are loose in there anything that you uh, you miss so this, here's our chance to uh, make it perfect yeah don't get uh, intimidated that the G23 is a headache like I said before it all depends on, on how you put it together. Make sure, put your heart and mind into it, put your heads into it, and everything, hoping that everything should go as planned. But this is normal. This is just perfectly normal. <laughs>